the best show ever. We hit Maria's rum factory. We fucked up her billboards, and the bitch didn't even bat a fake eyelash. Meanwhile, Maximus Matanzas is dead, and I'm still stuck in this swamp. We've spilled real blood, Danny, and Marquesa doesn't even have a scratch on her. Fuck this. I'm gonna call out her bullshit right to her face. Marquesa's putting on a PR event, some kind of tour for foreign journalists. If you can get us passes, I'll give her a one-on-one -on -one performance in front of the whole world. Force them to hear the truth. Let's fuck up Marquesa's show. Clara, I need press passes. I'm coming up to Maria's TV station. Anything you can tell me? Press passes? I wanna ask. Look, Danny, they're holding one of our guerrillas inside. So free them if you can. I'll do my best. Gracias, Clara. Better than watch myself here. There's a tripwire here. <laughs> Has this been approved by Minister Marquesa? If it hasn't, it is your duty to turn it over to the good people of the Protectores de la Patria. It's cool to be young, but it's even cooler to be loyal. Whoa! There's an engineer. Not another word. Get out of here! A key to something. Should kill the alarm.
The press passes. Let's do this shit. Hola, reporter Benavides. Press passes? <sighs> this is my shot, Danny. Got a shit hot song for that bitch, so don't fuck this up. Easy, Talia. Keep it together. Okay? You keep it together, Danny. Don't lose those passes. Meet me and Bicho in the Botanical Gardens parking lot and don't go in without us. Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you? Silvia Balboa Garden City. Urban Garden. Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friends. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro, the Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture. Impressive. Today, I am honored and excited to share with you the miracle of Viviro, a revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. Possible for the inside tour. You really make a reporter feel special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> it all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, y exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> Excellent, a volunteer. No volunteers? <laughs> okay, I'll demonstrate. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. 
Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer-fighting tobacco compound called Yarantin. Found only in Yaran tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantin is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. Bullshit. I didn't think this could happen. I hear even more now than before. Hmm. Stay with the group, por favor. <clears throat> the door is quite detailed, see? And this ends our tour. But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone. Enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren Rome. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a, uh, I say, a sneak peek. <laughs> so peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. Come now, Dr. Reyes, we don't want to be late. Neither do we, let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. So, what now? Take it as it comes. We got this. Stay on the go. How much money did the Anton Castillo simply desires a fair share from the international community? We have a rigorous selection process to determine which corner. And we intend to stick to the rules. It is estimated there are 18 million new cases of cancer each year worldwide. How would you produce enough BBL to combat this?
¿Qué fue esto? Special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yard in Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You, you attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. But where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? <laughs> Fuck. Come on, let's go! Let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Hello? Your mother is dead. Bicho, you're not having a heart attack. How, how do you know? We need Paolo. Paolo knows how to fix this. 
Paolo's in Miami by now. No, 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 he's still here. Danny, come find me in the little mountain just west of the airport. There's a bunker, and I'll be the Mexican on top of it. Okay, okay, just take a breath. I'm on my way. Lara, Maria Marquesa is dead. Yeah, it's on the news everywhere. What happened? Wasn't a plan. Fuck, I don't think there ever was a plan. Look, you and Tali are at the top of Anton's shit list. Watch your back. A lot of people are counting on you, Danny. We got a chance here. Word is Castillo has a defection problem. Who knows? He might even surrender. You are dreaming, Clara. Fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, this is it, Bicho. I thought Ravio Libertad would fix everything, but everything's fucked. Talia's doing some crazy shit. I haven't slept in days. I nothing's been right since Paolo left. My dealer swears he saw Paolo at the airport, and he was with that fucker Bembe. Danny. You can't let Paolo leave. He's the only thing that can put Talia back from the cliff, Carnala. I even tried to get Paolo. Got as far as the airport gate, and then boom. Soldiers everywhere. I squirted a little and I ran. You know I'm no good with soldiers, Danny. You got to get Paolo back. You got to make everything okay again. Paolo, what did you get yourself into? I saw the Shit. This place is crawling with soldados. They must have been waiting for Paolo. Where are you, Paolo? I need no more soldiers here. What's that? to find Paolo. Danny! 
god. Oh no, where are you? Locked up tight. Just a guerrilla I wanted to see. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe. But we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold him out? I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Rojas. Paolo's not in the safest of hands. Hostages. Let's go, Chicharron! Why would they take Paolo to a place like this? Dale, Chicharron! Help! Help! Run! Pass as you can! Come on, Paolo. Where are you? Ningún problema. 
Paolo better be here, or Bembe's a dead man. New phones. They're so thin. Ah, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Vivero. It would have gone nowhere if I had created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best death subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. <coughs> That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240, what you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Wakey, wakey, Danny. Miss me, motherfuckers? Daniel, come on, Karina, you're safe. You're with me now. They put something in me. Oh, God, he put something in me. Mr. Matias, fucking go. Oh, okay, okay, we meet there. <laughs> Fucking doctor! He poisoned me. Need to get it out. Okay. You need to get to my clinic on your own. Take the road north. It's a straight shot to me. Got it, Danny? Danny? A car. Need a car. Won't make it if I walk. Move, Danny. You have to get to Matias. Danny, please take a moment. Oh, Danny, for science, tell me how you feel. You're not real. By now, the PG-240 has worked its way past the blood-brain barrier. Shut up. Your neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Your subconscious is taking over. Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please leave your body in one piece for the autopsy. Libertad or Castillo. You just like shooting guns. Lita! No! This isn't real! Don't you get it? I never should have been on that boat, Danny. You put me there. We had to leave. Castillo was rounding up everyone. No, Danny. They were coming for you. I should have been with Clara, but I came to the city to say goodbye to you. How was I supposed to know? You took my place in Libertad. You just left my body rotting on the beach. It should have been you. I'm sorry! You had to be the lucky one. How does it feel? Sorber Borisho has such a better ring to it. Uh, 
Alejo? Do you know what we're fun of system? He screams pity fuck. I was supposed to be drowning in Yankee pussy. You weren't supposed to die. It all happened so fast. I wasn't supposed to die. Is that all you have to say to me, Tom? You left my fucking corpse on that rooftop. They were going to kill us too. Alejo, please stop. I shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. We were supposed to die together, remember? <laughs> Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife. <laughs> I feel steel, Danny. Welcome back, idiot. Australia. You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. Now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. Danny, come. Pichu's gone crazy. Screaming about Bembe. Blaming him for what happened to you, me, and Talia. Last night, he took off while we were sleeping. I think the idiot's gone after Bembe. Don't know how Pichu thinks he's going to track him down. Pichu always had our back. And we never. Just find the little shit. Okay? We're going to war. I need to rally our people, train them. That means no one gets left behind, even Bicho. Our Good luck. At this stage, every guerrilla counts. <laughs> Get over here! Okay, a dog? How did you get in here, boy? Juan, I just found a weapons shipment. American. Interested? Danny, that's like asking Saddam if he wanted more chemical weapons during the Anfal campaign. Of course I'm fucking interested. Found a dog, too. Dogs are useful in war. Long history there. Sergeant Stobby, Chips, Nemo. Does it have a name? No, not yet. What the fuck, Danny? It has no identity? Give it a name. Okay, how about uh, Boom Boom? Perfect. Trade him to go straight for the cojones. I like my dogs like I like my horse. Violent, unpredictable, and with a lot of humping. Something tells me Boom Boom's got some fighting him already. Boom Boom! Hola. Boom boom, over here, dale. Good dog. Good dog. Hey. What a good dog. Yeah. 
You are such a good dog. Bicho? Bicho? You crazy come mierda. Where are you? He's not here. Maybe he left something lying around that will tell me where he went. Who lives like this? Hm. Cool. But not gonna help. Hmm. So Bembe is buying weapons from the military. Looks like the handoff was at the rodeo. Skimming some Viviro off the top, eh, Bembe? I should check that warehouse. Oh yeah, Paolo. I think Picho's done something stupid. What's he done this time? He's really going after Bembe. Stupid come mierda. Don't worry. I'll find him before he digs himself too deep. Hurry, Danny. Picho's no match for someone like Bembe. A deal that went bad. Real bad. <laughs> Bicho set the balls loose on everyone. <laughs> what a way to go. Bembe got spooked and killed his buyer. Icho must have followed him out. Paolo! Little maniac sabotaged one of Bembe's black market deals. He let the bulls loose at some kind of rodeo. I won't let anything happen to him. Better watch my step. Big gun.
hostage situation. Shit. Easy. Just tell me. A crazy kid come through here, talks a lot, hair kind of like a pineapple. Yeah. Came in here whiffing a gun around. Told me I had to tell him where my buyer lives. Guy called Bembe. Did you tell him? See? And then the kid ran off. Can you tell me where Bembe lives? <sighs> Nobody knows exactly where his place is. But it's in Cruz del Salvador, near the border. That's all I know. I swear. Please, just let me go. Paolo, I know where to find Bembe. Then that's where Bicho will be. Exactly. Sit tight, Paolo. Heard about this. Looks like Bembe hides out in an old slave shack on the plantation. That's Bicho's truck. Bicho? Bicho! Blame is like... Bicho, what the fuck? Get out of here, Danny! I'm gonna blow this cabron's head off. No, you're not. Oh, I'm not? You don't think I will? Eh? Bicho, listen to me. You thought coming here was going to fix it all. But it's not going according to plan, is it? What the fuck do you know, eh? I know you're no killer. Look at you shaking. You're a frightened little rat. A pest. A parasite. Yes. You take and give nothing back. Bicho, don't listen to him. That's right. Bicho, just a blood-sucking bug. Whoa, 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 hang on. You are not Bicho. You're not a bug. What's your real fucking name? You want to fix something? Pull that trigger. You need to shut the fuck up right now. My name's Paz. Yeah, okay. Your name is Paz. You're Paz. You're not Bicho. You're not a bug. You're Paz. And I need you here with us, man. Hmm? <laughs> don't fail, Jamaco. You're a piece of shit. At least I don't lie to my friends. Not that it matters. But I tried to get Palo up. I really did. Paolo. Danny, tell me bitch was okay. See, si, talked him out of doing something really stupid. He's a bit shook, but he's okay. Oh fuck. Thank God. And Bebe. Still alive, still a snake. Shit. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. There's always going to be a Bembe, Paolo. But there aren't many bichos out there. When Bicho gets back, maybe tell him how you feel, yeah? He could use it right now. I will. I promise. Thank you, Danny. Danny, how is my patient? Alive, gracias. And I have another cool scar to show my friends. You joke, Danny. But it's the scars in your head that worry me most. Look, it's not a good situation here. Talia has an infection and we're low on medication. I'm sure Castillo has some to spare. You and I think alike. 
53 checkpoints along the road, west of my clinic. Hurry, Danny. Talia's life depends on it. Should kill the alarm. Shit. Checkpoint. Be careful here. Who's there? Oye, Matias, I got the meds. Muy bien, Danny. Bring them to me in Barrial. Hurry, for Talia's sake. See you soon. Nobody told me this was a party. She's so quiet. Si, big reunion. We need to hit El Doctor. You need to stay here. We need to move. We're not abandoning them. No. Massimas Mantanzas is Libertad. That footage from Castillo Zoo showed the cost of his paradise. The concert inspired thousands to join us. Radio Libertad inspires more. But you've become a distraction. Maria's dead. Viro is a new target. El Doctor is the key to fuck up Castillo's money machine. And he's in the Capitol. He's not there. My people have eyes on him. We were face to face. El Doctor is addicted to his work. He's not going anywhere. Matias Asinta. Sergio Esteves, El Doctor's right-hand man. Murdered hundreds with his medical trials. 
That's how we get a doctor. <laughs> Were you running to America? Found your cojones a little late. I knew you were military. Pablo. You're right. I'm not your leader. But you've had one foot out the door now. Talia's committing executions. Revolution is chaos. But a leader creates their own order. Let's go. You're called Danny. Pedro Torrero. Now that was a fucking musician. Now the mama and papa are gone. We need Sergio. I'll find him. Then we pay El Doctor a visit. Boom, boom! Over here! Nice house. Being a true Yaren pays off. Should check inside. Let's move, Boom Boom! Hey, it's Paolo. Just thought you should know what kind of monster Sergio is. Come and mierdas carried out thousands of fucked up experiments on outcasts. Even kids, Danny. It's fucking sick. And all of it just to make Bio Vida rich. Coño, I have to get this piece of shit. You will. Suerte. Kill them, Boom Boom! Kill them, Boom Boom! Come on, Boom Boom! Should disable the alarm. Get them, boom boom. Boom, boom. Let's go. Now. Shit. Come mierda's not here. Where did that fucker go? Should look around for clues. Boom, boom. You see ya? I see ya. Who the fuck are these guerrillas? <gasps> Paolo, did you send backup? Sergio, it's El Guerrilla. Let them take care of the, the guerrillas are on to you. Just focus Come to me and we will provide the you need. Gracias. Castillo can't afford to lose you, and neither can I. We have so many more trials to complete. Matias, someone warned El Doctor that we were coming. Sergio's on the run. Paolo and I are on our way. Escape. He's a fucking murderer. 
Should get to the marina. Sergio might be escaping in his boat. Boom boom! Come back! I've got you! Concussion, grade two or higher, laceration, dislocated shoulder. Matias. Let me guess. You're going to treat me to prove you're the better doctor. Where the fuck is El Doctor? The Viviero Processing Center, Building 13. What the fuck, Paolo? You think El Doctor could run the outcast camps without people like this piece of shit? None of this. None of this whole fucking mess would be happening without doctors like him. Fuck him. I'm all out of mercy. And significant trauma to the skull. Shit. Danny, come meet me at the lookout near the BioVida lab. We're going to hit a doctor where he lives. About fucking time. You and I are going to kill him, Danny. And we'll also hit Castillo where it hurts most. His fucking wallet. Look at that, Paolo. You made me smile. <laughs> See you soon. Building 13. This is it. Viviro, the outcast. Everything started with a piece of shit hiding in there. Only way I see this going down right is if you and I split up. I'm calling in a few of our guerrillas. We're going to plant explosives and fuck up his Viviro operation. It's not going to be easy, but you need to get inside those buildings any way you can and kill that fucker. It's us or him today, because we're not gonna get another shot. You helped wake me up, Danny. I was running from Castillo, Maria, all of them. Now these fuckers run from me. This one's for Talia. 
We're going to put that sick motherfucker in the ground. Come on, Boom Boom. Go get them, Boom Boom. Should disable the alarm. Dale, boom boom, dale! That camera needs to go. Dale, boom boom! Leader, that has violated our sacred temple to progress. It is your duty to pick up a gun and fight. We need more soldiers here. Death from above? It's worth a shot. Lock down tight. Stop the carriers at all costs! The future of the other ten Go get them, Boom Boom! Let's move, Boom Boom! Attack, Boom Boom! Down tight. Get them, boom boom. What? to get in those buildings. Got it. Let's move, Boom Boom! What is this place? Carriers are in the compound. They have come to destroy everything we have built. Kill them all. No, these bodies. You don't deserve to live. Oh shit. We are being attacked by terrorists. Defend the hero. Defend the path to paradise. 
What does he do to you? El doctor. He put poison inside me. Paolo, you could see this. What is it, Danny? What did you find? El Doctor's lab. All his experiments. Keep your shit together. Is El Doctor going to die today? He's going to fucking die today. <laughs> El Doctor is a monster. Give them hell, Paolo. They are come to destroy everything that is. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. You okay? Can you walk? <coughs> Danny, that's twice now you volunteered for my experiments. You sick motherfucker! I've seen what the Viro is really doing! And I'm going to enjoy this a little too much. Binga. Not one for the bait, are we? Did you know exposure to concentrated doses of PG-240 wreaks havoc on the body? Not possible. <laughs> you can't breathe! But you are just a rat in my maze. <laughs> on someone like is dead. Yes, Danny. You fucking did it. What are we going to do about those people? You just did the best thing you could do for them. Now, we have to get out. Juan is already on his way. Helicopter. Juan? How the fuck?
you dead on. They fucking cavalry. Anton's best. I'll take that as a compliment. Go get them, Chicharron! The goddess of victory picked us today. Enjoy it, guerrillas. Because tomorrow you'll be fucking somewhere else. You never listen to Pedro Torrero? 
This generation is lost. Does he ever stop talking? No. Talia! Mio! <laughs> I thought I lost you. No, fuck no. El Doctor! Dead. And Castillo is next. You sound... different. First time you're hearing my voice, mija. That mean you'll march with me to Esperanza? I'll fight for you. I'll put a fucking bullet through Castillo's skull for you. But don't think I'm going to let you off the hook. It's easy to talk of family, equality, when you're not running a country. Mm -hmm. But when your revolution is over, mine won't have even started yet. So let's put it on the record. Bicho! Si, sí, Capitan! Queen Clara! I mean, Hefa! Call me Paz. Paz. I think Radio Libertad would like to hear from our newest commandante. <laughs> you gonna tell the people Libertad was my idea? Shit, never gonna let that go. I hate this fucking music. It's not Pedro Torero. Exactly, Dan. La revolución vendrá. <laughs> mi pueblo no aguanta más. Ay, con la yara unida, mi hermanos. Y aquí venimos <laughs> para luchar. True, Yaras. These terrorist monsters that plague us, they have no vision for Yara. They simply want chaos. They... They... Diego. Si, sí, Papa? They simply want chaos. It is off. You used that line already. Ah. You opened it? Si, sí, señor presidente. Hmm. It rings every hour, señor presidente. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Mm, did you like my present? You killed him. What a surprise, terrorista. And the intel recovered allowed us to hijack ten shipments of your precious bebido. Let me ask you a question, Ms. Garcia. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Binga! Who told you, fascista? You call me Senor Presidente! <laughs> Start the camera. I'm ready to speak to my people. Papa. What? Uh, just stop. Rolling, Senor Presidente. It is with great sadness I must announce the death of a true hero of paradise, Dr. Edgar Reyes. Not only the genius mind behind Viviro, but also a personal friend. Little bird. 